Hi everyone and welcome to Sims Racing. First off, a quick disclaimer. I've been a racing and rallying enthusiast since the day I was born and have been driving racing games for almost as long as that, but my true love has always been rallying. I played the first Colin McRae rally game back in the day and stuck with the franchise ever since. It had always been more or less for fun, but with Dirt Rally 2.0 I really got into the competitive side of sim rallying finishing 4th in the semi-finals of the Dirt Rally 2.0 World Series. Having been with the franchise through all the ups and downs over the years, I thought I might make a video about the future of the series or where that future should be heading to. There have been stories popping up recently about a possible Dirt Rally 2.0 successor being in the works, hence the title I've chosen, Wheel of Wishes Dirt Rally 3? Question mark? The premise is fairly simple, with my knowledge, which is really extensive or anything, and more importantly my experience, I'll go over some of the elements the devs might want to keep in mind when developing the Dirt Rally 2.0 successor. Now I've decided to divide things up into four categories. Number one is keep that in stuff. Number two is bin it, burn it, hit it with a stick and start from scratch stuff. Number three is just make it better stuff. And the last one is brand spanking new baby stuff. So we start off with the keep that in stuff. It shouldn't surprise anyone that the first thing I'll mention is cars. The game contains a somewhat large variety of cars from different eras. Some which are iconic and loved like the 1995 Impreza and some which aren't like the floaty big boaty Citroen DS. It would be a shame to see any of them disappear in the next title. Next up we have the stages and locations. All of them feel and look fantastic which is something we've come to expect from this franchise. The quality just makes them a joy to drive on and they can be a real challenge depending on the car you're using or how brave you feel that day. I would love to continue driving them in the future so Cody's keep them in. Preferably from launch as well and not as DLC even though I personally didn't mind paying a bit extra to have the old Dirt Rally stages in Dirt Rally 2.0. The audio quality is also a point that clearly needs to be in this category. The engine notes for example are so splendid that each time I set off into a stage I get that oh god feeling, also known as a cargasm. I definitely know that we won't have to fear for a lack of quality in that department in the future. The same goes for graphics and visuals. The game just looks really good and I expect nothing less than top notch quality there too. And last but not least we have VR. VR definitely should and most likely will be in their next title. Now I haven't had the pleasure myself of driving the Rally 2.0 in VR but the feature should be in every single sim racing game, period. The next category I'll be discussing is the bin it, burn it, hit it with a stick and start from scratch stuff. The first thing they should instantly throw in the bin and start over is the always online race net element to the game. I don't think anyone will argue with me on that one. The system has been nothing but a disappointment and a constant source of utter frustration. Next up we have the tarmac physics. Even though Cody's have managed to get close to hitting the mark with the gravel and snow physics, the tarmac physics still are a bit eh. Adjusting the setup of the car can make it feel a bit better but in general it just feels incorrect. It feels like the gravel physics but with the grip turned up to the max. Cody's I'm expecting major improvements on that front. Then we have the puddle physics which are basically non-existent in Dirt Rally 2.0. The team improved it in Dirt 4 but for some reason forgot about it when developing Dirt Rally 2.0. Our third category is the just make it better stuff. First off let's talk cars again. The car list we have today is quite extensive and it's a good one, but in my opinion, more is better. So I would love to see Cody's expand the car classes with new additions. Let me give a few of my personal favorites. In the 2000s class, we could add the Ford The Beast Focus RS WRC from 2003 to 2005, or another favorite, which is the Impreza S9. In the kit car class, we could add Renault Megane Max kit car, in Group N, the older cars like the Lancer Evo 9 or the Impreza N12. In Group A, we could add the Lancer Evo 2 or the Sierra Cosworth 4x4. Plenty of options to choose from. In addition to that, some of the car models do need a bit of fixing. When adjusting the suspension on the C4, for example, for tarmac, to its lowest possible setting, the car just sits too high. And as far as I can see, 
The BMW E30 M3 has the incorrect tarmac rims. I've never seen a BMW M3 with those rims. And speaking of tarmac rims, some of the cars in real life have different options such as the Impreza S4 WRC or the Escort Cosworth Group A. It's not really a vital element, but personally I think it would be a rather neat addition. Tire choice is another thing I would like to see them improve on. It's a great addition to the game, but at the moment it's not really a choice. The soft compound tire is basically the only option you need. Now earlier I mentioned that I wanted to see all the locations and stages from the earlier Dirt Rally games in the next one. But it's not just that. I would love to see an extra long stage for each of the locations. And maybe, if the engine allows it, attach two long ones together. To get a really long one. Maybe three even. Oh, and please Cody's finally add vineyard stages to the Germany rally. Pretty pretty please. Something that is connected with stages and locations is of course the stage degradation element. It's a great addition, but it can still improve. Then we have the gravel and snow physics. I said that they nearly hit the mark, but it's not there yet. There's always room for improvement. Some other things I would like to see them work on are clubs and championships, the base note system, the penalty system for exploits and corner cutting, because some of the times on the leaderboards or the times I see in championships still make me mad and are impossible and last but not least we have force feedback which needs some major improvements because the feedback we get now is well it leaves a lot to be desired and our final category is the brand spanking new baby stuff now you know that I believe more is better so I'd like to see more new locations for example gravel rallies like the Azores rally and at least one additional tarmac rally which is completely different from Spain and Germany for example we have the Barham rally, Wipers or Condors rally, any Irish tarmac rally you get the gist. Some new car classes maybe Super 1600 or Super 2000 or previous generation WRC cars which many have asked for. A new version of the stage generator, an improved version because you know the one they used in Dirt 4 wasn't really that good a recce mode would be nice and in addition to that a pace note mode that is linked to it so you go through the stage at slower speed and you can create your own pace node using your own system another addition that would be fantastic is is a photo mode we've been missing this for quite a while now and a good fleshed out career mode personally I'm not really into career modes but the community has wanted one for quite a while a good fleshed out career mode so it made it to the list that's pretty much everything i'd like to see in the future the rally games if there's something i missed or you just want to say hi feel free to write it down in the comments below also if you like this video please hit the like button it would be much appreciated thank you for watching sims racing and see you next time